In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the trim and cut tool to edit your videos like a pro. I'm going to be giving you six tips on how to edit videos, even if you're a beginner, and I'm sure you're gonna like it. Make sure you stay to the end to get all six tips and tricks on how to edit videos fast. Okay, let's get started. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve 17, and I've already added my clip of a woman modeling in the middle of a city center, which is really cool. And I'd like to trim and cut out some parts of the clip. So let's get started by selecting the trim edit mode tool. And this is going to be this thing here, okay? Or you can just press T on your keyboard and it will auto select. So position the time marker to where we want to make the trim to. So let's say we want to make it here. So all we have to do is move the cursor over to the edge of the clip, okay? Until you see the two brackets going in opposite directions. Now we can click and drag the clip towards the time marker to make the trim. And then let go. And now we've made the trim. If we want to move the clip towards the start of the timeline, let's reselect the selector tool, or we can actually press A on your keyboard to do that automatically. And then simply click and drag your clip to the start of the timeline. Now this method works fine, but there is an even easier way to do this if you want to automatically move your clip to the start of the timeline using a cool ripple effect. If you're enjoying this video so far, why not subscribe? So I'll show you how. Let's undo the trim and reselect the edit mode tool. And we can do that again by pressing T. So what you wanna do is position your time marker to where you want to make the trim end. You wanna position your cursor to the edge of the clip and then move it slightly to the right until it's showing one bracket with an arrow. Now all you have to do is drag it to the timeline position to do the ripple effect, just like so. Okay, now my footage automatically shifts with the trim, which is fantastic, but that's not all. You can actually do the same with the end of your clip too. Just hover over to the edge and then slightly to the left and then just drag it and then we'll trim the end too. Okay, so we now know how to trim the beginning and the end automatically using a ripple effect, okay? But what if I wanted to actually trim some parts here in the middle of the clip? If we were to do that, we want to select the blade tool or if you wanted to just press B and it would self-select. And now let's make a couple of cuts to trim the middle of the clip. So we click here, that's one. And then we drag the time marker over to let's say here. And we wanna click again. Now we have two cuts. Now we can reselect the trim edit mode tool again by pressing T and then position the time marker to where we want to end the trim. Now move your cursor to the edge of the clip you'd like to trim until you see that single bracket. There we are. Now let's drag this to the time marker position to make the trim and automatically ripple shift your footage. Okay, now we know how to cut and trim inside of a clip. But let's say you made a couple of cuts like this and you just want to delete the parts you cut out. Let's say you want to delete this part. All you have to do is simply select your clip and then press delete on your keyboard. And it will delete that clip and Resolve will automatically shift your clips together. That's pretty cool, right? And that's how we can trim and cut using the ripple effect and make life so much more easier. 
There you have it, six tips on how to edit videos fast using the cut and trim tools. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe? I've got a ton of videos, tutorials, training, everything you need for DaVinci Resolve and they're all quick, under five minutes. Check it out on the DaVinci Resolve playlist. And until next time, peace.